What are you doing? Taking a leaf out of Andrew's book. Read the end of the fourth chapter. Victor, you can't do this. Our fight is not with white people. Oh, 
some water in the clock. I'm sorry, but I have to protect the lives of visitors to Chinatown. If you call Chinatown to visit us, Captain Waters, he will ruin his merchants. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid it's necessary. Why not do what Dr. Wu suggests? Let him and his friends handle the situation. Closing Chinatown right now means front page publicity of the type that would be injurious to San Francisco. My deepest appreciation for your words of wisdom. We Chinese are also proud of the clear name of our beloved city. You have my assurance that no visitors will be in danger. Very well. For the time being, the police will not interfere. Our sincere thanks, honorable captain. Market 4774. I won't talk to anyone else but the city editor. Hello, Mr. Harrison. Listen, listen. Say, what's the big idea? Let's get into the car. I'll tell you all about it. You'll tell me right now. Why stop me from putting over a scoop? You're not trying to give it to another sheet. You have my word, I'm not. I can't explain here. All right. But you better make your explanation a good one. Listen, Andrews. Doesn't hurt at all now. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. Do you mean that, Grogan? You know I do. There is something you can do for me. Deliver this letter. Ring the bell and disappear. Now, this is our secret. You know you can trust me. I know I can. that story right now, it would absolutely kill Chinatown's tourist trade. You can't do a thing. I'll, I'll attend to it. You get the key in time. Yes, sir. Puzzled as to who it's from, wouldn't it be a good idea to open it? That would be a good idea. Bad news? Your life is in danger. You are becoming involved in a matter that does not concern you. What are you going to do? What any human should do with an anonymous letter. Disregard it. Is that right, Willie? Great thoughts of humble houseboy and honorable master run in self-same channels. Yes? Oh, 
Oh, yes, Victor. Did you succeed? But I was interrupted. Before I had a chance to finish the work. Are you returning here? No, no. I'm going to complete the job. I want you to get Andrews out of the house with a phone message. Hello, what is it? What's the matter? I was thinking that a call from here might be traced. Why don't you put in a call from a public phone? Yes. I think you're right. I'm going to continue to watch the house. There's a chance that they go out again. Captain, have a sandwich and a cup of tea. I don't like tea. Only wise men can convey desire without naming it, Honorable Captain. Why did you leave so suddenly? Suddenly? Why, I, I wanted to get Joan out of Chinatown. Why? I had two reasons. The first, to keep her mouth shut. And the other, to keep her out of danger. What danger were you in? Why, uh... No danger whatsoever, Captain. Marty's jealous. The danger exists only in his mind. I'm afraid you'll have to do some explaining, Andrews. What do you mean? Some of these disturbances in Chinatown are strikingly similar to the situations in your book. Dr. Wu and I would like to have a little talk with you at his bazaar. Shall we go? Good. Come along, John. I'll see that this young lady gets safely out of Chinatown myself. You're giving yourself a tough assignment, Captain. Why, I... Oh, he doesn't mean it that way. <laughs> He's just ridding you. Somebody's trying to attract your attention at that window up there. 